MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the New York Mets and the San Francisco Giants. Stepping up now, Ahmed Rosario, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The temperature here at first pitch, a very seasonal 63 degrees this afternoon. Count remains two and two. Here it comes. Struck him out. Next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Brandon. The 1 1 home. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And no one will track it down. Here's a bouncing ball headed for Crawford at short. Fielded cleanly. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Just one for 10 in the series coming in, so he'll look for better results here today. Full count still. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit out towards second. Flores has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. In now, Wilmer Flores. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled away. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Brandon Crawford digging in next. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's totaled four hits in 19 tries. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. The count now at two and one. Here's the pitch. And here's a pitch taken by Crawford for a ball three and one. On deck, there are the unique stylings of Hunter Pence. He'll be next. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he takes strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here to open the home first Hunter. two away. The right field. Hunter. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. One and two now. Now the pitch. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Alonzo has room in foul territory. And no one will track it down. Pitch on the way. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The left fielder. Mike. Set to deal on two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Next up from New York, Pete Alonzo. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here's the one and one pitch. Got him. 
Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. The third base JD. Standing in now, J.D. Davis. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. So striding in, Michael Conforto. Nine at-bats in the series and four base hits. Set, here's the 3-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Dickerson's on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Pablo Sandoval. Now the A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. The payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a liner. And Sandoval's aboard, a base hit. Batting pit. The center fielder. Allen. So now to the plate, Dickerson. Alex Dickerson. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Ball two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Now here's a swing by Belt, and he gets a lot of this one. Out to deep right field. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Into the box now, Buster Posey. And he misses two and one. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Got him to go down swinging there. Buster Posey becomes out number two this inning. The 1-1 home. In the air, out to right. Nimmo has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Settling in now, Ioannis Cespedes. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ioannis Cespedes goes down for the first out here in inning number three. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Ahmed Rosario is on deck. And he fouls this one off. Lifted in the air to center. Dickerson on his horse. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Takes this the other way to right. 
That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Now batting, right fielder, Brandon Nimmo. At the plate now, Brandon Nimmo. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Ready on one and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One ball and two strikes to count. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. And there's one down now. Next to bat for the Giants, Brandon Crawford. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. One and two. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And there are two away now. So in now for San Francisco, Hunter Pence. He drew a walk his first time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. Ramos is there and the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth and set to go is the second baseman Jeff McNeil. Things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. To the plate now Pete Alonso good hard slider at 88 it's one and two now. Hard hit ball to second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The number four, Ramos. Stepping in now, Wilson Ramos. On the ground for Crawford. They might get a pair. The second for one. The belt for the twin killing. Striding in, J.D. Davis. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. J.D. A 1 1. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two balls and two strikes now. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Mike Yastrzemski. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A little low, it's two and two. Grounder down the line at third. Oh, 
had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him looking up around the letters. Now in the box, Pablo Sandoval. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. 1 1. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Giving chase is Nimmo. He gets there, and that's the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Alex Dickerson. He flew out in his last at bat. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. On the run is Nimmo. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Leading off the inning, Michael Conforto, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Weak grounder down the first baseline. He's got it, and they'll just tag him out along the first baseline. So with one away now, a chance for the left fielder to bat with the bases empty. Here's Ioannis Cespedes. Cespedes behind a ball and two strikes. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. The 3-2 one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University, Jacob DeGrom. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Ready to take his hacks again. Brandon Belt as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Conforto is in his tracks now. One gone. Now at the plate, Buster Posey. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Andrew Suarez. Two runs on two hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. A ball and two strikes to the Giants pitcher. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pick. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Lofted in the air out toward right center. 
And this will be handled by Pence for the first out. And here's the former first-round draft White choice, Hilbert. Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1-1 home is taken for ball two. One out, nobody on. Nimmo with an even count of two and two now. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Here's a blooper out toward left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that number two. Into the box, Jeff McNeil. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a the strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Line to the right side, and a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove, and the throw in gets away from him, and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that the first base, Pete Alonzo. In now, Pete Alonzo. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. All even now, two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Still even at two and two. A hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's late on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound high fly ball out to straightaway center Dickerson's under it he's got it and there are two down now big spot here first and second two men gone and next is the catcher Wilson Ramos. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. on the ground towards short and that's through for this first base hit in this one now that is good stop. Brandon. at the plate Brandon Crawford oh, fastball swung on and missed and for the second time today he's gone on strikes now that is so striding forward now, Hunter Pence. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. The 1 2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2 and 2. Line toward right center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. So now to the plate, Mike Yastrzemski. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Relay to first in time and just like that, this side is retired.
seventh inning ready to roll and set to go as the third baseman J.D. Davis starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally two balls and a strike to count slider can't find the zone here and he's behind now three and one hey leading off an inning in this situation three balls on you you have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. John Del Gustave takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Michael Conforto will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with a runner at first and nobody out. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Davis. On at first, nobody out. Ball three. Three and two now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The three one. A line shot to third base. Robinson Cano will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 24, Robinson Cano. Runners are at first and second with one away. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Guide into very shallow right. Pence has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. But they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. The now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Ahmed Rosario. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Two balls and a strike to Ahmed Rosario. Three ball, one strike count to the Mets shortstop. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. He loses him on ball four. The right fielder, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fouled off. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Paul Seawall gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. At the plate, Pablo Sandoval, one for two in the ball game thus far. The three-one. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Standing in, Alex Dickerson. 0 for two. He's flown out twice. Dickerson. The one two lifted the other way to left center after it is Cespedes. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Digging in once again, Brandon Belt comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's set. Here comes the one one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is on the ground over to first. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Reyes Maranta is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Steven Duggar is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. 
Stevens. Jugger. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And the pitch. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. Hit out towards second. And in the center field, a base hit. So early trouble here to start the eighth inning. Into the box now, Pete Alonzo. Drilled right back up the middle. And another base hit as this is through into center. And they're in business now to start the eighth. Jake Marisnik will come on now, now and pinch run here. Catcher, Wilson Ramos. To the plate now, Wilson Ramos. Swing and a little blooper to center. Duggar coming in. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Eduardo Nunez will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Standing in now, J.D. Davis. It's one and two. Gets him swinging. What a big out there as there is now one away. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. High in the air out to center field. Duggar's there for it. He's there to make the catch. And here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Yoenis Cespedes. You know, Matt, and every team has that one guy. And Yoenis Cespedes is that guy. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. of inning number eight set to go and that brings up Buster Posey and he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now three and one and just when you needed a shutdown inning a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda he needs a bear down right here and this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? One there on to first to complete the double play. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Wilbur. Stepping forward, Wilmer Flores. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Fouled away. The one-two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Nimmo retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Sean Anderson comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Tomas Nido will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Ball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here.
big time at bat right there. Team trailing, and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Stepping in now, Ahmed Rosario. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. The right fielder. Number Coming nine. to the plate now, Brandon. Brandon Nimmo. He's one for four for the game. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Two and one. Hit hard on the ground to first. Belt will take this one himself, and that ends the inning. Jerry's familiar enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. And another foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. High in the air out to center field. Conforto is there, and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. He's one for two in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Here's the pitch on two and two. And Pence swings and misses there for strike three, and he's out number two. Now the Giants' number four batter, Mike Yastrzemski. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate, 0 for 3. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. One and two. Here it is. <laughs> he struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Dominic Smith. He'll be the one to lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Pence the track but he can't get it as it's off the wall and he is in the second base with one away as the go ahead run now batter, the third base JD. JD. in now J.D. Davis to the right side and through a base hit 
throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still now only one away. Tyler Beatty takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. At the plate, Michael Conforto. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. The catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. In to score, the runner from third. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. The 2-2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Yastrzemski is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Seth Lugo takes the ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Pablo Sandoval. Wouldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And the pitch. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied. Donovan Solano will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven, Donovan Solano. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Losing it a bit here to three and one now. On deck, the left handed hitting Brandon Bell. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Digging in, Brandon Bell. A winning run is at first base. Now the 2 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Conforto will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Here's now Buster back. Posey Pitcher. now. He's got a chance Buster. to end this one and send these fans oh, home man. happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The one and one pitch. Wow, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespit is on the move. He makes the running play. Two down. Digging in for his second at bat. Steven Duggar. Steven Duggar. The one and one pitch. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Danny Jimenez takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 52. So here's the Mets pitcher, Seth Lugo. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed 1 and 2 now. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at 2 and 2. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Here now, the 2 2. 
pulls this one in the air out to left. Yastrzemski's got it, and there's one gone. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. One out, nobody on. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So here's Brandon Nimmo. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. And he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back out. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Wilmer Flores. The 1-2. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out. And he had to go a long way to get to that ball. Now with the plate, Brandon Crawford. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The 1-1. One, one. That's a ball. Bases are empty, one man in. Line drive to left. And maybe trouble the foot as Crawford's aboard here with a base hit. Brad Brock enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. So now to the plate, Hunter Pence changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And Penn swings and misses there for strike three, and he's out number two. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Down the first baseline. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Here's the payoff pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. On to first, and that'll mean a 12th inning is in order as this inning is over. Digging in now, Jed Lowry. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Duggar coming in, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Dominic Smith. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And it misses three and one now. Wilson Ramos will be next. 
And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now batter. Digging in and looking for more. Wilson Ramos is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Down low, two balls and a strike. Fastball just missed above the zone. The 3 1 pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Now a ball popped up. But room in foul ground for the catcher, Posey. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Into the box, J.D. Davis. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Michael Conforto would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Yastrzemski is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bottom of the 12th inning now, and up next, former World Series MVP Pablo Sandoval. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Well, that's ball three. The Giants right now are looking for base runners. They'd love to start this inning with the leadoff walk. And this is swung on and hit to Lowry at second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Mauricio Dubon will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Mauricio Dubon. Bouncer up the middle. Rosario brings it in. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Stepping in, Brandon Belt. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Swing and a ball sliced, fouled into the seats down the left field line. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Buster Posey would be next. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Tyler Rogers takes the hill now to begin the lucky 13th inning. Number 71. Now to the plate, Michael Conforto. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Lifted the other way out to left center. Back goes Yastrzemski. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So stepping in, Joanna Cespedes. He could use a hit here. 0 for 5 with three strikeouts. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Hit hard to short. Crawford's got it. And there's out number two. So here now is the pitcher, Brad Brock, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Grounded back up the middle. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired.
Edwin Diaz enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. Last half of the 13th inning set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Buster Posey. The 1-1 one -one home. Heading out towards shallow right. Nimmo in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One out, nobody on. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. That's going to even up the count at two and two. him up. Lissario over to his left. He's got it and there are two down now. So now the batting order turns over now and set down. to go Wilmer Will Flores. Flores and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. A one two pitch. Two out nobody on. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. The 2-2 pitch. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. And he fouls this one off. He's set. The 3-2. Skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Nimmo. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. All set to begin the 14th inning. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. The 1-1. One -one little chopper back to the mound and the throw to first is in time one gun now batting Brandon Nimmo who comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game the 2 1 this is hit high in the air out toward left center back goes Yastrzemski he gets there and that's the second out Digging in the switch hitter, Jed Lowry. No hits to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is line to left. Yastrzemski will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. to the bottom of the 14th and stepping up as the shortstop Brandon Crawford no offer on that one two balls and a strike taken strike two called and it's even at two and two hey it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Hit back up the middle. Throw by Lowry, and there's the first out. Now Riding in once again, Hunter Pence. Hunter. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. Now ball in two strikes now. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, and Pence is turned away here for route number two. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Mike Yastrzemski, attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. The set and the 1-1. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Well-executed fastball right at the knees. 
going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Two and two the count. Here's the two and two. And he strikes him out to retire the side. So we'll play at least one more. New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Dominic Smith. The one two. Rounded down the third baseline. The one two is low and outside for a ball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Wilson Ramos is on deck. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Back goes Yastrzemski. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. Smith is digging for home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. Into the box now, Wilson Ramos. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. In there, and it's full three and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side and that's in there base hit. Now that the center fielder Michael standing Conforto. in now Michael Conforto he takes it to the opposite field high and deep to left. Yastrzemski is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Ioannis Espedes. The 1-1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Yastrzemski is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Rob Brantley will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 75. Driven the other way, but caught down at third. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. Stepping into the box, Brandon Belt. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It's times like these that I wish we were paid by the inning. The game seemed endless, but the fireworks in the top of the 15th were enough to decide it, and they hang on for the nice road win. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. New York to Victoria for the 40th time this season. Edwin Diaz gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left 13 men on base. For the Giants, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes.
thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.